Hey buddy, is it time to come inside? Low battery. We got a few things on the go today. First, I gotta go run some errands. Remember that Android DVD player that was sent to me to do a review on? A piece of crap. It has died, completely died. No power at all. I tried doing like little tricks, the reset tricks, hold down the power button, nothing it's done. And then I gotta start pulling the diff out of that because my bearings will be here on Wednesday. Tomcat's telling me, human, you better let me inside now. Picked up this beer last night, it is ghetto as frig. Tomcat. What are you doing making so much noise? Hey, you want to go inside? You want to go inside? They're so funny. Oh, you don't waste any time, do you? Straight to the treats and you're going to have a nap all afternoon. I need to change the old battery in the Jeep soon before it totally shits to bed. State of health is under 50%. I was going to say 40, but it's under 50%. One cold snap is all it's gonna take, game over. Well that's the remainder of the stereo. Now to get started on that green slug, pulling that front differential. Should be an interesting little chore. I wonder if there's even any oil left in the differential after our last run. There we go, got some of the covering off and you can see that seal is all wet there. We're not looking too good at all. I wonder if there's any oil left. Let's drain it and see. We're gonna look for some metal filings. Cause in the ATV video that was just released not that long ago, you could clearly hear wine in the video. We got some major issues. Some El Bricklino. Oh shit. Well, it almost sounded like there was a vacuum when I pulled that plug out. So I'm going to pull the fill out because there's not much in there and see if anything else comes out. So remove the fill plug and voila. I think our issue with the blowing seal is definitely a a vacuum problem. There's a vent tube on top of the differential. We're gonna to have to inspect that once we get it apart. We haven't looked at the oil yet, but there is evidence of metal filings at the end of this drain screw. So this is where you gotta troubleshoot and figure out what the actual issue is. So right now, it's just dripping, right? So if I was to pull apart my differential and just put all new bearings and seals in it, I'm not going to fix the problem. Because once I remove a fill plug, see, it starts draining again. So that being said, if the differential isn't breathing, the weakest link is the seal. And that's where it's either going to leak or suck in crap. This is a one time taking it out after changing the oil. Doesn't look good. I'm 
not seeing like a lot of metal filings. So I might get off lucky that way. Just trying to get a look here. I don't think it'll be too bad since the radiator's been relocated. We're going to remove the A arms off both sides. Obviously, pull the axles, remove the electronic shifter, also remove the manual locker, remove the two bolts that hold it in, probably slide it forward, and most likely going to come out through the right side or even to the left side. But I need to get ready, start heading out because I'm heading up to. Miha's Brewery again tonight to meet up with JD, get some cheap beers, and the pizza's really good there. So that's where I'm going to head it, probably come home afterwards and have a fire. Just got to the Minha's Microbrewery. Yeah. Okay. No. So. This is one of my biggest pet peeves right here, is this fucking ass clown in the F-350. Turn your fucking lights on, you retard. Just got back from the brewery. Check out this bad boy right here. Little mini keg. All the good beers were out. So I got this grape beer. It's like the hard root beer, but it's grape flavored. All right, motherfucking beer time. This is what I'm talking about. This is real beer. Maybe not real beer in here. The grape beer. Holy shit, tastes just like great pop. This could really fuck you up. I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully in the next video, we get that differential torn out, rebuilt, throw them back in, and then we can start on that boat anchor right there. I need to get that car done within a year or two so I can bring other projects in. I gotta be able to move that car on its own in another garage so I can work on other stuff. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I wanna thank you guys for watching.